Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Applying Differentiation Part 2. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. The nature of the derivative. At any point on a curve, the derivative can assume one of three possibilities. If dy dx is greater than zero, the curve is increasing. If dy dx equals zero, the curve is horizontal. And if dy dx is less than zero, the curve is decreasing. When the curve is horizontal, we are looking at a stationary point. For example, one. Find the stationary point for the function y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now we've seen that the stationary point occurs when dy dx equals 0. So for the given function, dy dx equals 2x minus 6. So we'll let that equal 0. So we have 2x minus 6 equals 0. Therefore 2x equals 6. Therefore x equals 3. So if we substitute x equals 3 into the function, we get this line here, which gives us y equals negative 1. So the stationary point occurs at 3, negative 1. Example 2. Consider function x equals minus x squared plus 4x minus 3. Where is the turning point? So the turning point occurs where function dashed x equals 0. So if we differentiate this original function, we get function dashed x equals minus 2x plus 4. So to find where the turning point occurs, we let 0 equals minus 2x plus 4. Therefore 2x equals 4, therefore x equals 2. So we substitute x equals 2 into the function. This gives y equals 1. So the turning point occurs at 2, 1. And we can see that here. Let's look at two other situations. Consider the function y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. Is the graph increasing or decreasing at x equals 4? Let's have a look on the next slide. So our function was y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. We find dy dx and that gives us 2x minus 2. So when x equals 4, dy dx equals 6, which is greater than 0. Hence, the graph is increasing at x equals 4. So at the point when x equals 4, the graph is increasing. What is happening to the graph at x equals negative 2? So we just saw that dy dx was 2x minus 2. We substitute minus 2 into that. And we get dy dx equals 2 times minus 2 minus 2, which is minus 4 minus 2, which is minus 6. So because dy dx is less than 0, the graph is decreasing at x equals negative 2. And you can see that as you move. It's all about moving to the right on the x-axis. So as we move to the right on the x-axis, this graph is decreasing when x equals negative 2. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. The answer to the puzzle. What is the meaning of the following? Search high and low. I think you may have got that one. Here are the answers to the quick quiz and the video is at your disposal.